nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. GC copies, we'll go. You've heard the call out, MVAC-D chilling. We're now getting the second stage engine ready for ignition. Several activities coming up here very shortly. At T plus two minutes and 24 seconds, we expect main engine cutoff, followed immediately by stage separation and ignition of the upper stage engine. Right after that, the first stage will begin the first of three burns to return us back to the Pacific Ocean to the drone ship parked offshore about 300 kilometers downrange. We have Eco. We have back ignition. T plus two minutes and 47 seconds into flight. We've had successful stage separation and ignition of the upper stage engine. And as you can see, we've also relit three of the engines on the first stage to begin the sequence that will return it to the drone ship in the Pacific Ocean. Stage one landing successful. Delta Atlas. Seven and a half minutes into flight. You can hear from the applause. We lost the signal briefly, then it returned with the view of the first stage in that pre-dawn darkness sitting on top of just read the instructions. Out in the Pacific Ocean, a successful landing of the first stage. は平成二十九年十月十日午前十時一分三十七秒二羽根ヶ島宇宙センターから打ち上げられました。SRBA連勝終了。百十十一十四十五十六。17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, Those nine Merlin engines currently uh, thrusting produce the thrust of seven foot, sorry, five 747s at full thrust. That's how much power the Falcon 9 is producing right now. And back engine shell started. We have Eco. Stage separation. And back ignition. You can hear the applause from Mission Control. Uh, it looks like that we had a successful Miko main engine cutoff, successful stage separation, and a successful start of the Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage.
Uh, for those of you just joining us, on the left-hand side, you can see the first stage of the Falcon 9 rocket currently expanding its grid fins, uh, getting ready for its ascent or descent back down through the atmosphere. We had a good entry burn, and the first stage is still on track uh, to touch down on the deck of Of Course I Still Love You in the Atlantic Ocean. This is video from the drone ship, Of Course I Still Love You. have deployed. And a brief cut out in video there, but as you can see, Falcon 9 Rocket is currently standing on the deck. Of course, I still love you. Well, the satellite is inside what we call the fairing. Oh, now you can case. see, we can start to see the rocket launcher. We, it's a little bit uh, small, but if you look on the right hand side, there's a big blue tower on the left hand side, and then you look on the right hand side and you can see the launcher. And just under the tip of that launcher, right in the nose, at the very top, is your satellite. So we're coming up to the point here where we have the scheduled first stage separation. Separation of the first part of the launcher. It's burnt its propellant and it can fall back down to earth because of course the whole point is to lose weight because the lighter we are, the faster we go. It's a basic law of physics. The uh, second tower now uh, is beginning uh, to retract. The automated launch sequence underway, standing by for main engine start. Main engine start initiated. Turbo pumps and engines up to flight speed. And liftoff. Liftoff of the 68th Progress resupply craft bound on a two-day journey to the International Space Station. Good roll, yaw, and pitch program reported. Good parameters. Stage one engines operating normally. The Soyuz boosters arcing out to the northeast. The vehicle is reported to be in good, stable configuration. Coming up on the one minute mark into the flight. Good pressure in the uh, combustion chambers. A good ride so far for the Progress resupply craft. Minus 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, have ignition, and liftoff, liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket carrying the NRL 52 mission for the National Reconnaissance Office. RCS pyro valve has been fired. That system is now pressurizing to flight level. Signatures look good. 
Current altitude is 42 miles. Downrange distance, 85 miles. Current velocity, 6,155 miles per hour. Range track is good. Body rates are as well. T-minus 15 seconds, stand by for terminal count. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Vehicle switching downrange. Stage one propulsion is nominal. Propulsion avionics continues to look nominal. And back engine shell has begun. You heard the call out. The Merlin vacuum engine of our second stage has begun chilling in. Same process as the first stage, where we start to flow that liquid oxygen through that second stage engine. After that, we will see stage separation where the first and second stages will be separated by four pneumatic actuators, and then we will have the ignition of our second stage engine. Let's watch. We have Miko. Stage separation confirmed. And we have a good ignition of the Merlin vacuum engine for our second stage. You can see the exhaust plumes uh, coming from the forward view of our first stage on the left screen camera. Uh, our grid fins have also deployed, as you can see there. We use those grid fins to guide ourselves back through Earth's atmosphere to our drone ship, of course, I Still Love You. A 30-second landing burn. Stage two, it's a live view from, of course, I still love you, our drone ship out in the Atlantic Ocean. And we have some. A little toasty, but his stage one is uh, certainly still intact on the drone ship. Stage zero TV is squibbed. T minus 10 seconds. Mark. L minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one, liftoff of Minotaur C carrying the Skysat and Dove satellites for planet. Attitude is nominal. Attitude remains nominal as the Castor 120 Stage Zero motor propels the 104 foot tall Minotaur C vehicle away from Vandenberg Air Force Base. Stage Zero motor pressure is nominal. Stage one TVA has been pressurized. Stage zero has burned out. Stage zero separation. Stage one has ignited and attitude is nominal. Stage one TVA is nominal and controlling the flight of the vehicle. Power buses remain strong at 100 seconds into the mission.